Hi, my lovely people. Welcome to Nika's Soul Kitchen. So today, guys, we're in the kitchen here bringing you another video. Guys, you are so special and I love you guys. So guess what? Today we will be making, actually, you guys will be getting a combo. We will be making a red velvet chocolate cake. Yes, guys. And we're going to be icing it and decorating it after. So you know what? We're going to dive right into this video right now. We're going to get this cake made right now. Don't worry, guys. All the measurements are going to be listed below of each of the cake. Okay? Okay, so this is all our wet ingredients. So we're going to combine our wet ingredients. Then we're going to add our dry ingredients. Okay? So we're just going to give this a little mix here. Uh, it's smelling so good already. And that's the best that's the best thing when you have all your ingredients, especially the egg, the milk, etc., at room temperature. It makes it easy for the mixing. Everything makes faster and easier. Okay, so we have my four cups of flour here. I'm going to divide it. I'm going to take two cup all-purpose flour. I'm going to add here to my wet ingredients at this moment. Okay. And then my cocoa powder and my coffee. My baking powder, my baking soda. Okay. We're going to combine everything like this together in the mixture. We're just going to mix slowly and just combine. Actually, you don't need actually your hand mixer or stand mixer for this because it's everything, as I said, if it's at room temperature, it's just going to be like one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So you just give this a little mix to bring everything in together now. Oh, this looks so good and it's smelling so good. So, this is the end of our chocolate cake, okay? So, we're going to set this one aside, and we're going to begin with our red velvet, okay? So, the same procedure. I have my butter already here. I have two eggs. I have my essence. Vinegar. And my sugar okay so we're gonna mix this sorry I'll add my cream so this is the end of all the wet ingredients so we're gonna mix this together and then we're gonna add our dry ingredient which is our flour baking powder and our salt and our red food color so, our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, sorry. So now we're gonna begin with our wet, our dry ingredients. This is our red velvet, okay? So we're gonna add in our baking powder, baking soda, our allspice, our cocoa, and my cocoa, guys, I sifted and I already sift my flour. It's best if you sift your dry ingredients, it's gonna like, you know, avoid the cake from getting those extra lumpy, lumpy stuff while you mix it and give you a smoother cake, okay? So it's best if you can sift your dry ingredients first before, okay? So last but not least, my red food coloring. So your food coloring could be your choice. As red as you want it, you have to add more. Okay, so I'm going to first mix this in and then I may give it a last 
mixed. Okay, so we're just going to combine everything here. The... Oh, it smells so good. So good, guys. So lovely. Okay, we're just going to mix, 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 mix and bring this together. And then we're going to apply in out, into our baking pan. Your baking pan can be your choice, okay? It can be your choice of baking pan. I'm using um this style for my red velvet cake because i want that sort of cut out design and i'm using a regular pan for my chocolate cake so guys our cake is out of the oven i just want to show to you this is the chocolate cake there's a little opening at the top that's okay um, we're going to cut that off to balance it before we um, icing it. So that's okay. But this is our chocolate cake. And this is our red velvet cake, guys. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. So you see we get a little more perfectionist here because that's what I wanted. But the chocolate, we're going to cut the top. So we're going to let them cool at this moment. And while they're cooling, we're going to start our buttercream icing. Guys, before I start, I want to take this time to apologize because after looking back at the video, I realized when I when I was um making the chocolate cake while I was talking, I then realized the camera wasn't rolling. So probably you're gonna miss some of like the the dry ingredients I was explaining. I think I didn't real I am um, the camera was not rolling. I'm sorry, but nevertheless. As I, as I mentioned before, all the measurements will be below. So don't worry for the both chocolate and, and red velvet cake, okay? So we're going to continue making the butter cream icing now. So I have 640 grams of soft room temperature butter here. I have three cups of icing sugar. And we need... A little bit of milk okay to soften the mixture as we combine it together so we're going to begin first with our butter okay you're going to definitely need a hand mixture or stand mixture whatever at this time because we're going to cream this butter for like about five minutes or until like you see it's look yellow right now we're going to cream it until it get like you see all the air coming out of it and it get lighter in color so a good five six minutes we're going to be blending this for okay this is about five minutes i'm sorry this is about five minutes of my whipping of my butter so i just want to show you you see how yellow my butter were before you see how creamy like a whipped cream look is getting right now. This is what we're looking for with pink and white and more smooth and lighter. Okay, so that is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. See? Nothing is falling out. It's properly mixed. My butter is whipped thoroughly. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna begin adding our icing sugar. And guys, it's best if you sift your icing sugar. It's gonna be smoother and more silkier as we cream. Okay. So we're gonna add in. Oops. Some other time. Gonna put in half, we're gonna mix, and then we're gonna whip. Okay, we're gonna combine this together like this. Just keep folding it in, okay? You're gonna go slowly, just keep folding it in. Because as you keep adding your icing and sugar, the consistency is gonna be a little stubborn like a flour like you need in flour so at that time you would want to add a little tip of milk just to loosen it not a lot because you're going to get a water watery um 
icing it. At this time, you could add either vanilla, almond, whatever your favorite essence at this time. You could add a little bit at this time. Okay, so we're going to keep mixing and then I'm going to divide. I'm going to take out a little bit of this icing and set it aside because I'm going to add some um some color. Okay, because for the decoration, I want to, you know, it's Valentine. I want a little red in the um in the decoration. So I'm going to keep on mixing and then we're going to come back and we're going to start to get creative. So we finish make my icing my cake is cool long to a temperature um i'm gonna start my icing now it's not that cool but it's it's okay i can work with it but if you're doing it home it's better if you let your cake cool down like really cool down okay so what i did i went and i cut sorry my chocolate cake i cut it in half okay I cut it in half. I cut the um the open crust to the top first, and then the remainder of the cake, I just cut it over in half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with one half of my chocolate cake, then I'm gonna put one of my red velvet on top, then I'm gonna put one chocolate on top, and then end with the other half of the um red velvet. Okay, so we're gonna begin. So this is our cream. We're gonna put some like this, okay. We don't want to dig in too much okay we just want to put and apply evenly so we're gonna get okay and just evenly put it no perfection here because this is the um the base of the cake so it's okay just take your time and smoothen it out that's what we're doing here just to get it flat and nice. So we could put our other top. Guys, I'm not a professional um cake um I'm not a professional icener, cake icener. So this is something new to me. Okay, this is just basic, my basic skill in baking. Okay, so now. We're going to get the red velvet piece. We're going to put it on top. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put another layer of icing in, and we're going to flatten it around. Then I'm going to put a chocolate and then I'm going to put a red velvet piece on top and apply the icing in smoothly and slow. But if you're not professional at icing like myself, okay, some tips I want to give you don't i repeat don't um when the cake is let the cake cool down completely before you start to apply your uh icing okay because what i just did my cake was still a bit warm but i went and i still um apply my icing so i had to take a second and stuck it in the fridge for it to come together back again yes that's a mistake i make so please don't do that let it come to a thorough cool down okay so i'm not trying to make it smooth i want to get it a little rough so you see me going in all direction but if you want a smooth one please just keep going like this okay if you want your cake to be smooth just keep doing like this and keep filling back up and okay but i don't want mine smooth i want that sort of like Okay, because I'm going to add a little decoration to the cake. So, so far, this is how my cake is looking, guys. See? So far, this is what it's looking like. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my piping back. This is some of the icing that I set aside. I just put some red coloring in some and I keep some um, just regular. Okay? So, where the candy is, I'm just going to put pipe like that okay and 
another one okay so that's how it's looking so far so I'm gonna do pink The last one you could go with any sort of like guys anything you want to do sorry you could have done make it to be your decoration okay then I'm going to go in with the white one at the top here and I'm just going to Remember guys, I'm not a professional here, so please be gentle with me, okay? Yes, so this is it. So at this moment now, you could just, I don't know, fill in wherever, you know, just get creative, you know? It makes you look beautiful because after all, it's a cake okay i'm just putting some here in the heart below here okay so yes i'm finished with my deco so what do you all think 